In the tweet, which Mr. Embury described as middle class, he mocked Victoria Gallagher as she claimed she could not find aubergines, lentils or feta. Ms. Gallagher said, food shop this morning. Can't get lemons, chilies, parsley, spring onions, aubergines, cumin, almonds, bottled water, beans, feta, halloumi, basil, soy sauce, and risotto rice. Meanwhile, dad's in Belgium, no issue, mum in Italy, no issues. What could this be? She then accompanied the tweet with a hashtag blaming Brexit for the shortage of supplies at her supermarket. In response, Mr. Embury said, I think I've stumbled on the most middle-class tweet ever. His response was quickly picked up by pro-EU Brexit commentator, Dr. Mike Galsworthy. In response, Dr. Galsworthy said, and what do you suggest we do with the British middle class, Paul? Line them up against a wall and shoot them, for daring to ask for lemons and spring onions in Brexit Britain? Because we all know the British working classes never become chefs, or never wish to cook or eat nice food. And the British working classes are all white and so would never touch a chili or aubergine or any such foreign foods. All working class love post-World War II diet, hey Paul. Mr. Embury then responded and said, these people are genuinely bonkers. While some have pointed to Brexit as the cause of food shortages, some experts have claimed the pandemic has severely hindered supply chains. This month, China closed the Ningbo port for two weeks due to a small number of COVID cases. The Ningbo port is the third busiest in the world, while experts have warned any further supply chain issues could hurt the already delicate trade scenario. Earlier this month, Vietnam was forced to close its factories in the south which are some of the world's busiest manufacturing centers for clothing. Vu Nok Kiem of Global Sources said, with all provinces in Vietnam being hit by COVID, the situation is so unprecedentedly uncertain that buyers have to adopt a plan B or C, including offshoring production to another country. Earlier this month, Joe Biden also announced plans to work with experts to ease supply chain issues. Supply chain issues have also been caused by lorry drivers leaving the UK to return home during the pandemic.